Hey guys, Donnie Wright's out here. Bookmakers Review Friday, March Madness Action. Wall-to-wall -wall coverage tips off around noon and gets done around midnight. So at least 12 hours of basketball all throughout the day. Get your dancing shoes on. Let's have some fun and see if we can make a profit here. Two games to take a look at on Friday afternoon. One at 2 p.m. Eastern and one at 9.20 p.m. Eastern here. Let's start with the first one, Western Kentucky and Marquette. This is a line of 14.5 points. The favorite here is Marquette over Western Kentucky and a total listed at 157.5. We're expecting points in this one. One. The thing that I think is interesting here is we don't know officially how healthy Tyler Kolick is going to be. Let's just say he sits out this game. Fantastic if you're taking Western Kentucky, which I am. If he does play, maybe it's a little discombobulated to come back here for Marquette as he plays his way back into feeling comfortable in that offense. But the one thing I do like about Western Kentucky's offense is they're okay at shooting the three-point shot as a team, about 34%. But they're 317th in the country here for style components on shooting the three-point shot. That means they don't rely on the three-point shot. And one thing that is nice if we're looking at point distribution 56 percent of the points here for western kentucky come from inside the arc the good point about that marquette's defense is 323rd in the nation at giving up points inside the paint here so the one thing you want to take a look at is it's going to be a little bit tougher to score here against that marquette defense but the fact of the matter is if you don't rely on a three-point shot and you love the two-point shot and you don't force the threes here that should be able to keep this team in the game so i'm going to take western kentucky with those 14 and a half points, even though Marquette does have a solid overall defense, non-reliance on the three-point shot by Western Kentucky should be a plus. And also number two, Tyler Kolick coming back into the lineup. How healthy he's going to be and how many minutes is he going to play? We'll take the points in this one. Game number two we'll take a look at. This is 920 Eastern. It's Longwood versus Houston. Most people have ever heard of Longwood University before. You're not going to have to think about them too long because Houston is going to absolutely dominate this basketball game. Favored by 23 and a half points and a total, how about this, of 127 and a half. If we take a look at this matchup, Longwood, I don't know how they're scoring in this game. Number two overall in defensive efficiency in the nation is Houston, which means they're unbelievable at turning you over. And quite frankly, Longwood turns the basketball over a little bit too much. Houston, by the way, third in the country, close to 25% of the defensive possessions ends in turnovers. That is tremendous. You want to talk about defending the arc, 14th in the country. Defending inside the paint, fourth in the country. Blocks, third in the country. Steal percentage, second in the country. Good luck, Longwood, getting to the rim and getting opponents here. Or excuse me, getting your opponent to move around in Houston. This should be a blowout winner, but instead of taking a side in this one, we're going to take a look at a team total under. That's only 52 and a half for Longwood. I doubt Longwood gets into the 50s. Therefore, we got a great shot at working through this victory. Two bets we're going to take a look at Friday. Western Kentucky plus 14 and a half and under 52 and a half as a team total for Longwood going up against Houston. Let's see if we can make some money on these wagers. Good luck this weekend. Get those dancing shoes on. Why? Because it's March Madness. I'm Donnie Wrightside for Bookmakers Review and as always, good luck on on those wagers.